Morning YouTube, welcome to Oxfordshire. I'm out for a solo overnight, well I say solo. I've got my mate with me. Solo back. No. Not the talkative type. Anyway, uh, I'm trying out a Hungarian Zeltbahn, I think it's called. It's uh, a Lavu, except it's rectangular rather than circular. So I'll show you when that's up. And what else have I got that's new? Nothing much really. I've got a new bivvy bag, but you've always seen a bivvy bag and sleep mat and stuff like that. Right, I'll catch you later. Right, just stop for a five minute break. Dogs enjoying the shade there. He insisted we stop at the pub, so I've had a couple of points which makes it a bit harder going. Bloody dog, yeah. Anyway, I've got quite a fair bit of stuff here. I've got my new um, Northern Ireland patrol pack. Well, I say new, I bought it off the bushcraft trade post. The gentleman was kind enough to sell me it for a far less than it was worth. And I got the trolley. I'm getting old now. 57, I, is it 57? Yeah, 2057. So I'm getting on a bit. I couldn't carry all that light in a Bergen, especially the amount of water I have to carry with the dog. Right. I think that's about it for now. I'll bring you back later. Right, I've arrived. Ooh. I think I'm going to spend the night just here. Put my tent up there. I don't usually come this deep in, but there's a bit of grass and stuff there, it might be a bit softer. Got no idea where I'm going to have the fire yet, or even if I'll have one. Apparently the wind's south now, by about 9 o'clock tonight it's going to be west, and by tomorrow morning it's going to be north. But, uh... I'll definitely have it nowhere near the uh, tent. Not because I'm worried about burning it, it's just that I don't want it filling up with smoke in the night. Right, I'll bring you back later when I'm all set up. Right, this is tonight's accommodation. Did I show you the other? I can't remember. Obviously, that's the door. Some sort of weird camo pattern. There's the back. Obviously you can't do those button things up without uh, turning your thumb blue. Inside, I've got tarp on the floor and I've got the grabber space blanket. Here for the dog. I've got British Army sleep mat. I've got a British Army bivvy bag and inside that I've got a Thermarest Neo Air and the Pattern 98. If Carlsberg makes sleeping bags. So that's me for the night. It looks small but that's two meters and uh, I'm 1.8 I think so I should uh, be able to stretch out in there. There's plenty of room for the dog. You alright? Hey, yeah, you got a stick? Alright, here's camp then. Obviously, I'm terrible for leaving my stuff all over the place. But I think I've got a nice little spot. That's the view. If the sun's getting in the lens or what, looks a bit cloudy from my side, but you get the idea. Dog's up here as a pig in dirt. All right, time to chill. Okay, I've just been going through my stuff, getting it ready. Well, I just I'm going to bit of a sort out just uh, before it gets dark. Anyway, 
I've just discovered that I forgot my MRE. So guess which dippy sod's going hungry tonight. I've got some porridge that I bought for the morning. I've got some soup and some snacks that I've always got in my uh, food box, but yeah, there's always some up. Oh, well, I forgot my MRE, but I didn't think I'd get something to drink. Why is it just sitting in the woods? Right, I'm up. I must admit I didn't have a great night. I'm getting too old for this sleeping on the floor. Kettle on. Good tea and get things sorted out. Right, my thoughts on the lava before I take it down, or Zelta Barn or whatever they're bloody called. Um, it may be two metres across, but that doesn't mean it's two metres of usable room. This peg came out in the night because my feet were pushing it up. Getting into my sleeping bag was difficult because you have to be right back in there. It was just... It'd be great if it was bigger than the pole wasn't in it. If you led diagonally, you'd probably be better off. So, uh, I'm going to have to think of somewhere to put it up without the pole. It shouldn't be too difficult because this one just comes with holes in each top of each larvae. So, I need to have to stick a toggle through and a bit of paracord. I'm going to hang it up, which I think would be the best way to use it. Right, I'm just about done. This is where I was. There's no fire pit. There's my gear. Blue bag to my rubbish. And apart from being uh, hungry and uncomfortable, it was a good night. You enjoy yourself, mate? No comment, eh? Right, thanks for joining me, I'll see you next time.